What is up guys? So, as you can tell, we are back with the KLR. Um, obviously the title basically says it all, but we got some new gear here. Um, we have the panniers from Tusk, and then we have the pannier racks, because obviously this isn't the adventure model, so it didn't come with all that. Um, so without further ado, let's get to throwing those on. Take this off, this, and let's open this box first. Alrighty, so like I said, we'll open this box first. So, what I'm gonna do is cut this on open and see what's inside. Um, Cause I'm with you guys, I really don't know what's actually gonna be in each of these boxes. I know what obviously I'm getting, but I don't know what's in each box. Alrighty, so after opening it up and reading it, I don't know if you guys can see that, um, but it does say right pannier rack. So what we're gonna do is open this up and we'll see what's inside. So one thing that's really nice that they did was list everything there so you know if you have everything. Um, but we're gonna cut this open and see for ourselves. Oh yeah, looks like it's all here. Um, let's see, let's get this open so you guys can see. We got the right side right here. And we'll open up the next one and that'll be the left side. Alrighty, so the one thing I was worried about when I ordered from these companies is that they don't usually come with instructions. Luckily, this one does, and as you see, it does say KLR on there, 2023. So, this should work. Um, honestly, this should work for 2023, 2022, 24, 25, really 2022 plus. So, let's get this on. The first step is gonna be removing these two bolts right here, boom and boom. So, we'll get that done first, and then we'll move on to the next step. Um, I just want to make a quick observation real quick. These don't have to come off. Um, I never said they do. Um, but I was trying to make some room to get these bolts off because they are very prone to stripping um, with how hard you have to push to pull them out. So just be very careful when you're taking these bolts out that you do not strip them because if they get stripped in there, it's going to be very hard to get them out. So, boom. See what I was saying about how easy they are to strip? Uh, okay. So yeah, luckily we won't be using this again. So basically these are gonna be tossed in the trash or do whatever you wanna do with them. But for me, trash. So on to the next step. Um, obviously we're on the right side. So we're gonna come here, take the right pannier, and we're gonna line it up. It's gonna line up just like that. I'll zoom out a little more so you guys can see bit better that should be about good um, but it should line up right about there um, so I'm gonna put this on fast forward this and then we'll get to the next step Not gonna fully tighten it because we gotta get to the next step, but then after the next step, we'll get to tighten it. Okay, so next step, if you haven't already, um, make sure this is behind the footrest, um, but you're gonna remove the bolt right here, and then we're gonna take this bolt, which let me focus on real quick, this bolt right here, and we're gonna go through here and into the tusk 
pannier on the other side. So once I get that through, um, we'll move on to the next step. Alrighty, if I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, this part right here um, was very tough on the right side. Um, but if it feels like it's not going in, just keep trying. Um, it will eventually go in and you should be good to go. So now that we got that done, these, this, and this up here, uh, we're gonna move on to the next step. Alrighty, so I don't know if you can tell where we're at, but we're right at the back. Um, these are still kind of like hand tight. Um, don't tighten them yet. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the last part. We're gonna grab the brace and we're gonna set this baby up. So let's put the screws down and let's get the brace on. Easiest way to tell if you're doing this correctly it should say tusk on the upper side. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this going to connect on each side using the four bolts given to you and you should be good to go from there. So let's do it. Alrighty, so there you have it, bars on. Everything's on there loose. Um, so what we're gonna do now is go around tightening everything up and then we'll show you the final product of just the racks and then we'll go ahead and install the actual um, boxes next. Alrighty guys, so that's basically it for part one, um, which was basically just the rack install. If you guys want to see the boxes get installed, please go to the next video, which will be linked here below. Um, but yeah, don't forget to make sure you tighten everything up, make sure everything's in place, and you're basically ready to go. So this was a Tusk pannier rack install on a 2022 plus KLR 650. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, and yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps us. Thank you for watching.